Hi there, Stuart from Matt's Playground here, and you may recognise this screen. If you've got a child playing Minecraft, and there are millions, maybe even tens of millions around the world playing it, this is the first screen you see when you're playing Minecraft on a console. Um, there's a lot of parents out there who I've met who don't really know what Minecraft is and are a little bit worried about, is it good for my children? What What is it all about? What are they doing in this game? Is it going to be violent? So I thought I'd make a series of videos basically explaining Minecraft for parents a bit accessibly so you can see what this world done. hopefully feel more interested in, in what it is and, and excited about what you can do. So what I'm going to show today is the two main ways to play Minecraft, um, creative mode and survival mode. Um, creative mode is the thing that I think most young children will start on. It's the least stressful, most creative way to play Minecraft. And survival mode is the more gamey way to play it, maybe for slightly older children uh, who don't mind a little bit of stress in terms of surviving and not getting um, caught by beasties. So I'm going to show you how to create new worlds in both of them. So I'm going to create a new Minecraft world. I'm going to call it Creative so that I can remember what it is. And I'm going to set the game mode to Survival. So two modes, Creative and Survival. Oh no, I'm going to set it to Creative. <laughs> That's a... Uh, Good to remember. So the thing you need to know about Minecraft and creative mode is that it is stress free for kids. They get plonked into this world of Minecraft and they can build with whatever they like and do whatever they like and explore without having to worry about getting killed by monsters without any real goals. It's like a sandbox basically where they can just be free to wander around and don't have to worry. So here I am in the world of Minecraft and I will be explaining a lot of the features in, in future videos so don't worry too much about that. Um, the main thing to understand about creative is I can wander around as much as I want now and do what I like. If I open the creative tool, I have access to all the blocks and the blocks are the things you build stuff with in Minecraft. I have access to everything from bricks to stones to gates to doors to decorations to rail and minecarts to materials, food, tools, weapons and armor, potions and miscellaneous stuff like eggs to spawn monsters. So this kind of lets you play God. You can have access to every block in the game, you can do whatever you like, and you can choose as many as you want. So for example, if I wanted to build a house with, what should I build a house with? Clay, for example. Orange, green, yellow, blue. But if I'm thinking, yeah, actually I'd like some gold, I'd like some diamond ore, I'd like blocks of diamond, that sounds nice. Um, these are things that in the survival mode you'd have to be basically digging your way deep into the mines and, and discovering and um, fighting people off for. Here you can have whatever you want, I've got 64 blocks of each and I can start building whatever I like. And I can also start tearing it down if I want just by a single tap. So this is the way to play Minecraft where you're just building stuff really and you're not worried about anything coming up behind you and catching you. The, the, the monsters still are in the game, but they're not aggressive. So if you have a young child who wants to play Minecraft, creative mode is definitely the best place to get them started, where they can just wander around, see how things work, figure out the rudiments of building, and basically have fun without worrying. Um, so that's creative mode. Now if I exit now, it will save my level, and then I can start a new game. So I'm going to create a survival mode now. So create new world. I'm going to call it the obvious. Survival. Game mode survival and difficulty. Easy, normal and hard. Obviously if your children are playing for the first time, probably easy. So now survival is different in terms of the start. It's a little bit more stressful um, or game-like in that you can't just wander around, you have to do some very specific things in the first 10 minutes of playing. So you have to um, forage from scratch. So you can't go into that menu that I showed you where every block in the game is available. You have to go out and you have to find wood and build tools and find stuff to build a house and you start with absolutely nothing and you have to go and find it all. You may notice as well that there's two new things there. There's a row of hearts and a row of chicken drumsticks. Hearts represents my health, chicken drumsticks represents my hunger. So I will get hungry and have to find food. And if I get attacked by anything or if I fall off things, my health will take it. So it's much more like a game in that there are there are metrics measuring how well you're doing. Um, and yes, in survival, you have to basically run around for the first 10 minutes, getting lots of wood, 
um, building some tools, which I will show you how to do another time, and getting yourself ready for your first night, because there's night and day in Minecraft. Where's the sun? It's up in the sky somewhere. When it turns to night is when the monsters come out, and if you're out in the open, you're in trouble then, unless you've got good weapons, which you won't have very early on. So survival mode is very much about foraging, finding the things you need to cope, which is essentially wood, crafting tools, um, I normally get some sand for windows and uh, I try and build a door and I try and build myself a little house. So if you've got children playing Minecraft for the first time, start them on creative mode. If they want to go and play survival mode, maybe have a look online at some of the good tutorials there are for what you need to do in the first 10 minutes. I will make a video about what you have to do in the first 10 minutes. Um, and they can go from there and then it's more like a game. They can get killed, in which case they reappear somewhere else and lose all their things, but they can still play. Um, but creative mode is a very good sandbox place to just get used to Minecraft, for you as well as your children. Now there is one cheat that's quite good fun. You can start a game in creative mode. You can give yourself loads of good stuff, like a diamond sword, or um, uh, like a loads of armor, or loads of blocks that are rare. And then you can exit the game and load it again in uh, survival mode. And that means what you can do is you can kind of play survival mode with the kind of fun of the monster sneaking up to you, but you've got loads of good stuff and you can survive. My kids actually play that quite well a lot. They'll fill, they'll fill their boots in creative mode, then come out and play survival mode again, so they feel like they're playing more dangerously. They're almost about to go onto that state of thing where they will start from scratch in survival. So yeah, as a parent, what do you need to know here? Start on creative, then explore survival when your child feels ready. And if they find it a bit stressful, if they're running around and it's getting dark and they haven't got a house, then either you can sit down and help them, or you can maybe politely switch it back into creative mode and give them a little bit of help. That's me for today. In future videos, I am going to look at how you start in survival mode. I'm going to look at how you craft, how you put fights, how you explore the mines, all the stuff you can do in Minecraft, and I'm going to try and present it as accessibly as possible so you know what your kids are doing and maybe you want to do it yourself. If you want to see those videos, um, you can subscribe to our channel. Um, if you're on the line, or remember there should be a subscribe button somewhere around this window. Um, and you'll get notified whenever we have new videos out, which will include these Minecraft vids, but will also be app reviews, of children's apps for, for iPad and Android, and also vlogs about kind of my parenting experiences with digital technology and my kids. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time with a video. Cheers.